Let me talk to those of you that are being deceived by the tour keeper crowd. These modern day Judaizers, these Gentiles all over social media that are trying to put people under the law. Self-righteous Pharisees. Christ rejecting cult members of the Hebrew Roots movement. The Mosaic law, the Torah was given to Israel and to Israel alone. Paul says in Romans 2.14 that the Gentiles who have not the law are law unto themselves. Obeying somebody else's instructions is not obedience. God gave those instructions and laws to Israel. You don't get bonus points or brownie points from God or some special blessing by keeping Israel's law that was given to them. Let me ask you, what are the consequences of breaking the Mosaic law? Do you go to hell? That's what a lot of them teach, just like even the Catholics. That's not Christian doctrine. Oh, that's right, they don't want to be called Christians anyway. Good. The Mosaic law was given with blessings and cursings. They love to talk about these fake blessings that they think that they're getting by keeping the law and not eating pork and not working on Shabbat, on the Sabbath. But you never hear them talk about the cursings. What are the, what are the cursings for adultery and working on the Sabbath and all that? To be stoned to death. You never hear them talk about that. Don't listen to their lies when they say, well, we believe that you're saved by grace through faith. They don't mean the same thing that the Apostle Paul meant. They don't even like the Apostle Paul. They reject, in most cases, all 13 of his epistles. And they use that marketing ploy of obedience to suck people in. Say, well, we obey the whole Bible. Really? Are you out building a boat? Of course not, because those instructions were given to Noah, just like the law and the instructions that were given to Israel. We can eat pork today, lobster, shrimp, we can work on Saturdays. Grace believers don't seek to sin as much as they can and abuse the grace of God, which is what they like to say. Lawlessness, my hind leg. The best Christians I know are those that walk in the spirit and are living the grace life. Those of you that have been deceived by these tour keepers need to run as far away from them as you can. They will lead you away from Christ, who is the end of the law for righteousness to those who believe and ultimately reject that Jesus is God.